Greg. Mike. Two bandits. Watching. What up, party people, and welcome We're here. to episode 28 We're here. of Two Bandits. Two of us. Watching a blue game. I am, as always, Greg Painter. That's him. And with me, me. He's the reader to my Janet. Oh, it's. I'm Mike Martin. Hey, buddy. How oh, are you? I am good. I feel. I'm a little concerned about this episode that we're about to get into. I feel like expectations are going to be high. But sometimes also, I think that the expectations shouldn't be high in an episode that's really great because we don't need to create such greatness. We could just literally say, hey, everyone, go so watch the episode. Us. Go pause us and watch Grannies. Just and go watch Grannies. have Grannies. a great time. Well, it's been great week cool. plugs and stuff. Yeah. No, but this, this is going to be a fun one. And we're um, welcoming a lot more friends yeah. this week, I think. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who shouted out. We've had a, oh, we've a, got a squad of people, guys. We've had a Thank bunch you. of guys, dudes, gals, everyone reaching out, chatting with us after um, the Brump episode. The... <laughs> yes. Tons of folks out there, tons of folks listening. So thank you. Welcome to all the new friends. Howdy. And hey, welcome back to everyone else. Hey, guys, gals, everyone. How are we doing? We're doing How's great. Everyone's day today. I hope it's going well. Day's great. And I've got, I've got one more thing I got to shout out. Okay. I got to shout out. I've got a little proud dad moment here. Aww. Shout out my wonderful daughter, Emily. Hi, Emily. Who, following in her dad's footsteps, had her acting actress debut this past week at the South by Southwest Film Festival. My God. Where her movie, I Love My Dad. Great name for a movie for your daughter to be in, by the way. <laughs> her movie, I Love My Dad, won for Best Feature. At the South by Southwest Film Festival. Oh, my goodness. She is more successful than I am. She's more successful than both of us combined, my dude. My goodness. Playing young Becca, the young version of the main character. So shout out, Emily. There needs... Movie star in the making. Oh, And you also have this great ability where you can walk up to Emily at any point in time and just say, hey, Emily, what was that movie that you were in? And she'd be like, I love my dad. Yeah. Dad. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's great, too. Like when, when everybody, you know, hey, Mike, what was your first job? I was I, I was a stock boy at a grocery store. Yeah. yeah, Emily, her answer: an award-winning actress. So, boom. Hmm. What was yours? What was your first gig? My first job, I worked in, as an alley coordinator at a Red Lobster. What's an alley coordinator? <laughs> an alley for those uninitiated. Uh, according myself, to our friends at Wiki Bluey, an alley coordinator. <laughs> no, an alley coordinator is the person who like preps the plate. Okay. Um, like so, it's not the chef; it's the the middle yep. person who like makes the plate look pretty and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and you're working in an area that's about two feet wide with heat lamps, putting your arms under there. Oh. And I just had like burn marks up and down both of my arms because yep. I was not good at it. Well, because I was 16, those burning are hot my arms. Too, though. those seriously are. They are. Restaurant biz for life, baby. And those those heat lamps, no joke. No, I think they, where we where we worked, Fresno's here in Syracuse, New York. I miss you every day, even though it didn't do too well in the health exam well, whatever but they were called i think they were called compers were they compers no because that's compers and closers dang it i don't remember mm -hmm. oh i think they're really hot though no one else is hot this episode this episode is hot this and... episode is on fire just like my arms when i was 16 working in the alley but before we working get to grannies yes see what our friends great friends at wiki bluey have to wonderful say about friends in the synapses last edited was when <laughs> Dang it! Probably not. Uh, again, I go into these cold. This could be. We could get a shout out on this, as far as I know. Ooh. We'll see. Bluey and Bingo dress up as grandmothers. Well, that's already <laughs> okay. We got it, folks. Bluey and <laughs> Bluey and Bingo dress up as grandmothers, but disagree on if grandmothers are able to perform the floss dance or not. Bluey proves that they are not so. By wool. Take good. that line again. Uh, Bluey proves that they are not. Nope, that's how that sun is going. proves that they are not so by calling video Nana. But when this upsets Bingo, Bluey decides to teach Nana the dance so that Bingo will keep playing. That is just <laughs> that one sticks a on mess ice. on ice. <laughs> grandmothers, first off, it's called grannies. I don't think the word grandmothers, grandmothers is spoken once in the entire... <laughs> and then Bluey proves that they are not so by video calling Nana. That's not a sentence. Those words aren't even in. Guys, help us out, please. Bluey. If not for us, for the Bluey fan community. If I read these synapses, like, is, is, is. 
the the episode grandmothers is the like one of the atypical number one episodes that if you speak to somebody and they haven't watched the show before, whether they have kids, they don't have kids, and you just say the show's great. If you watch it, it's a blast. You just called it the episode called Grandmothers. I know that's the okay. Joke. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm here for the humor. They broke you. <laughs> We're a comedy podcast. Is, the grandmothers doing the floss dance. <laughs> that is that, that, the dental I feel, like, dance. I feel like Nana wrote that description. That feels <laughs> like Nana hopped on her computer. She forgot her glasses, uh-huh. so things got a little funky with that middle sentence. If I'm flipping through channels and that's the synopsis, I'm gonna keep flipping through channels. I'm uh, not yeah, yeah, watching yeah. that episode, but Synop- thankfully I have synopsis bad, episode good. And let's Ugh. get started. And let's start how every episode going forward should start. With the intro music? With just bingo flossing. (laughs) Just bingo standing there just... (laughs) It's like, just, I need that all the time. It's so good. Oh, And it's so funny because the music's playing in the background, so you got Joff doing his thing, and it's so well done in this episode. Of course, gosh, I should just have like a sound bite of me saying that. Um, But I don't know if there's music for her in the background that she's dancing to. She just might be hanging out in the porch. That's a good point. (laughs) She's <laughs> just solo flossing, and that's okay. What did you do this morning? I had some breakfast, and I went on the porch and flossed. <laughs> and just down there, and then Bluey shows up. It's like, well, what my grannies? <laughs> she has what we she's doing, We can visit though. the shops. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> you come in, and you are brushing your teeth. I'm not like, hey, Greg, what are you up to right now, bud? Well, when you're just standing there, and re- I'm pretty sure if you walked into the room uh-huh. and just saw me standing there randomly flossing, okay. like, hey, hey, bud. <laughs> What you, what you doing? I think it was more of a concern from Bluey than <laughs> an actual question. That was a big sister moment. Oh, and she's down to come. On. She's down to Granny Clown. It's, she it's, she <laughs> is. But can I still floss? Mm. No, I, I I mean no, they can't floss. So yeah, I, they I do. Mm. Hence the conflict of the episode. Of course, get coming. Conflict. Bring in the greatness. Now I'm going to get into a couple questions about how Ooh, everybody responds to. When the grannies begin, when everything begins, and what the healer household is constructed like on this day. This is this is a day that uh, Beth and I have experienced very recently. Of okay. We got stuff to do. Uh-huh. We're in work mode. Okay. And kids are always in that same mode. We've had massive basement cleaning. Yep. Yes, the last few weeks here, Carrie's schedule Kids don't is massive changing basement clean off a little bit to where we're finally, I think for the first time ever, we're going to have weekends first off together. Forever. And we were talking about it, I think literally just this morning of our Saturday is going to become, you know, a bulk work day so that way we can enjoy our Sundays. And if that's the case, is it is it full on work mode? And and I think that's what's going on in this family is chilies like it cuts the chili and cleaning that oven has anyone has this ever been cleaned hey mike uh-huh when's the last time you cleaned your oven me or has <laughs> been cleaned in this household because <laughs> i don't we'll, think it's we'll a put give, me we'll on give blast you, we'll, give it, we'll a, give it to both if you ask me right now where is the oven cleaner because there's a specific spray that we use for it <laughs> and you gave me eight minutes <laughs> i'm gonna ask for an extension on this exam um but it has been cleaned probably within the past Three, two months, I would Ooh, say. Oh, you got us beat. Whew, yes. You got us beat. Got it. The last time I distinctly remember cleaning it is when oh. it caught on fire. Um, because <laughs> okay. we didn't realize that um, um, grease from a pizza seeped through those nice aerated pizza trays. My goodness. Because somebody named me didn't put tinfoil underneath hey! it. Yeah. You pulled a me. That's, a, that's a, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that's not something. <laughs> but we're, we're cleaning the oven. We're not having a fire. Mm. But we're having some grannies. Oh. Oh, and they they just stroll on in in just their greatness. And I've realized something with the uh, the toys that they sell because we do have the granny toys. I don't know if you have those ones hanging. I think out we do. House, yeah, is that in the cartoon, the show that we're watching? They their eyebrows are above the the blankets, and it makes it. <laughs> it gives them so much more expression. Keeps with the eyebrows. <laughs> it's all about the eyebrows. <laughs> because with the toys, I'm like they're just slightly creepy, but it's because they don't have the eyebrows floating over because you have the the blankets over their heads. So it's just. They just seem a little creepier. We got that. We got the mode. blankets. We got the the grabby things for uh, a cane. We got uh, the iconic glasses. The iconic glasses. Where I think it, they either gave it to her as a a joke or wherever she purchased them, she wanted to look like Nana. Yeah, they're exactly. very, very Nana esque. <laughs> wow, in stereo, folks. And, and shout out to our buddy. Uh, shout out all the time to this guy, but oh, Mister R Man One, his awesome Granny's Instagram filter. Check that out. If you go to his Twitter at Mister R Man Two Ends. One, 
I don't think I posted my photo out. of it. Of you me, didn't post your photo? It. I don't think I did. I have, gotta, I have a photo of it. I, I did it that night. I know you did already, but... We've we got a couple other things to post, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the episode when we discuss it. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, go on. Spoilers. Let's keep going in the episode. It's... Grannies are here. Grannies. Rita needs what are they to pick here for? Beans for dinner, of course. Rita needs her beans. I'm here for the baked beans. What's that, Janet? <sighs> they are dunking on poor Nana. <laughs> Not stop, I feel like, in this little episode. That's Because they know, they know what a granny is based on Nana. When did Nana steal? That's what I want to know. When did what? Nana steal? Because, hey, oh, buddy. When did she tell the story? <laughs> when, drop, when the kids were dropped off for a weekend away, and she's like, let me tell you about the time. I stole them beans. <laughs> but that was, that was just great. So And Chili is a little, and, and, and this is where I think that I'm putting myself in the mindset of what happens on those kind of weekend days is... Chili's kind of anti-play at first. Shop's closed, Rita. She's like, nah, not going to happen. And she gets a little, like, not frustrated, but the cans come rolling out. And she's like, well, well, before the I've cans get cleaning. rolling out, Chili gets beat by the, she... the walkie thingy. <laughs> Rita does a hit. Rita ever... does, don't do a hit. <laughs> don't do a hit. And she blops her. And as opposed to saying, we're not supposed to, she just takes the hit. If, there, if there's anything we've learned from the Bam Bam TV show, you don't do a hit. Don't do a don't hit. Don't do a hit. Especially with the grabby thing. Speaking of which, I probably would have one that has like a little shirt. I have one that's a snow leopard here in the house for Finn. So Ooh, it's not for, as. For, for Finn, air quotes. <laughs> that's why it's sitting on my desk right now. Right? But between between the getting decked, yep. between the bean cans everywhere in her nice clean kitchen, yep. patience of a saint, though, for Chili right mm-hmm. here. Yep, it's, it's pretty good so far. Because I feel like when you're getting thromped. That's where my patience usually runs out when well, I'm getting physically attacked by my children. That's where it was an interesting decision she made because she could have said, you freaking hit me. <laughs> and just... Janet, wake up. Oh. What she, what she, just a nana nap. Just a nana nap. Which, which shows that it, it's, it wasn't a granny nap. Yeah. It was not a grandmother not nap. a grandmother nap. <laughs> it was a nana nap. So it, I, <laughs> I think it's, it's cute because... Duncan... It, on Nana. They are mocking Nana, but when Nana's around or they, they call her, it's all love for Nana. Oh, so yeah. it's good vibes, but the moment that she walks out the door, they're like, bro, did you see the glasses that she's wearing? <laughs> well, it's okay, because they're, they're about to leave the shops, because Re- Rita can't find the beans. Oh, come on. It's it's the baked bean shop. It seemed like all that was inside of that cabinet. Why cans, so many beans? <laughs> just cans rolling out. Well, they, I mean, beans on toast is a breakfast thing, no, too. that's true. I was... Thinking about making some for the beginning of this this episode and realize I don't have I don't, beans. I don't have beans in allotments of uh-huh. cans in my closet, so I apologize. I can get you toast. You want toast? <laughs> it's not the same. I know it's not the same. We'll save it for the Outer Banks. We'll do it. We'll make it. We'll have a beans on toast. That that, <laughs> that giant bulky <laughs> just, Rita just slowly moving that little grin on her face. That's got to be difficult though. It's got to be difficult because she's got the, the blanket over her and she doesn't have pockets in that thing. So she, she's holding at least what? How many? Did you count them? I did how, not. How many beans come flying out? Because Because they came flying. About three of them go flopping out. Mm. And she tries, says, to, <laughs> tries to run away. She said, I couldn't find any boy be-. Like the way she <laughs> says that. Just hits me because her, nana, like her she's granny voice. To throw her granny voice a little heavier on that one. She cranks it up, so it's wonderful. Tries to escape, beefs it. <laughs> oh. I slipped on my beans. The phrase is said. It's out there. Oh folks. my gosh, that's that's uh that's one of those fantastic. I, I in the rewatch today, I watched it a couple times. Finn asked to watch it today, so I was just like, heck yeah, we're doing it. And it's just it's a line that you just hear and see, and you just laugh no matter what. And then we then we get another one of our breaking the fourth wall moments. <laughs> Mom just Stop looks right looking at, the camera, at my notes. <laughs> looks back down. It's it's Saturday. It's work mode day. I want to relax. Later on today, why don't you go ask your father? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, well, not quite. Not quite well, there. Because start... then we start flossing. <laughs> Wait, what? What cues the floss in that situation? Because because she not? escaped with the beans. She didn't <laughs> escape. She beefed it, and she's going to jail. <laughs> if this is the real world. Rita's in jail. That's right how now. she's getting out of being arrested. Is they're like, oh, it's just an old, <laughs> an old chew. I want to. I want to see that. So I want to see some old lady <laughs> try to steal something from a grocery store, get caught, that police fall report. down, and then just jump up and start flossing. It's and it's just, like, okay, this song just started playing and she's just, <laughs> in my mind. It's the first signs of dementia. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Nana! They got her oh, lost. Yeah. But we're, we're flossing. <laughs> Bluey's mad. Bingo's not playing properly because 
can't, greenies can't floss. Mm. Yes, they do. Try to get mom involved. Go ask your father. That's that's an inter- again. Chili's set on what she's doing today. She's gonna be doing her work, and we're not doing floss court. You're gonna hit me. Fine, I'm gonna let it slide. Who's right or wrong? You know that's that's more than just a blue is right. It's a I I, I can't get into this go. right now. I've got my laundry list of it's excellent. Good coming out with dad. Excellent opening line for Bandit. While he's plunging in the toilet, what are these kids eating? <laughs> I like how he blames the children. <laughs> Beans, dude. <laughs> that's what they're eating. You think that might add up? Thus far. Just saying. In the in the entire world of what we have so far, there's salads, sausages, and beans. Beans. That's a gassy household. <laughs> Knowing what we know about oh. where the phones are stored from Joe Brown, that makes me very con- concerned. <laughs> very concerned. <laughs> That's gonna be yeah, we we'll, we'll have a we should we should have a full full bluey diet day and see how, how we finish that. Finish That's... that strong. I think we'll, we'll be fantastic in that scenario, <laughs> to be honest. And again, they come in. And I think I think the music that hits in in this one is different from the, the retail store or bodego music that happens when they go <laughs> see Shopkeeper Mom, who does not have a shopkeeper name at all. She, no. she, okay, she she's not playing. There's no dollar box. Character. There's no... <laughs> and there's no TV dad. He's not and, an anchor man. He's exactly. not... Exactly. <laughs> He's just... Turn on the TV. He's like, what? They're just... Uh, the water plops up and just... Oh, gross. You ever have that That happen? again. That again, dude. No. No? I'm no. trying to... Th- I don't think I've had full, like, attack splash bag of toilet, so... Again, that... that I would say... Hey, Mike. Yeah. Would you rather Finn hit you with a stick or Finn slap poop water on your face? Well... Because I'm going to go with the stick hat. I mean, with how... that was... Watching the cartoon dogs do it, I was like... Ugh. Watch it. <laughs> you did gag a little bit there, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, you got you to gotta kind of just... Roll with the punches on that one. And also, oven cleaner, it smells pretty pungent. It stinks. So, I mean, you're already kind of lightheaded. no worse than poo. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Oh, is that show about the big blue baboon? Oh, poor dude. Poor guy. Yeah, this is this, this is a pity episode for <laughs> poor Bandit, but... he's He's got pick done now. Yep. He's got poo water on him. Mm. Mm. Can Nana's floss? Can, can Granny's floss? Go with Nana. Not put. Well, I mean, he's go over there. He's he's elbow deep in the in the the borderlines of something. This next so, scene is so stinking good. What's that? The the cut to nano we, scene. We cut to FaceTime. Yeah, facey time, as we'll learn in uh, ah, season three. Well, of course, and the button is square, and the, the the tablet that they are using is square, and it probably has a little dog logo on the back. The I'm assuming logo. or a bone. With a bite a out bone? of it. Is that what it is? I don't know, apple? but or with a bite out of it would be, uh, that might be too on brand for. Oh, uh, that would be cool. Yeah. Because you couldn't do the paw with like missing one of the, the fingers of the paw because it's just a paw missing. A, <laughs> oh, dear. Missing a finger. But, but Nana, first we just get the ears. Yeah. I can see this Nana doing uh, face time, putting up the, the, her head. Uh-huh. Then we get just legs. Okay. Close up on the eye. Okay. Just so fun. Okay. Shout out to, do you know who plays Nana? Pretty sure this is a, a, a layup alley oop dunk for you. Go ahead. You know, okay. I don't know off the top of the nog. I'm not gonna you lie to don't? you. Don't? No. As much research as we do on these, and if you say it, it might click. It That'd might be a young lady by the name of Chris Brum, aka Joe's mom. Uh, oh, that's cool. I don't yeah. think I knew that. I'm not really. Yeah. yeah. That is actual mom. That Can is actual she Nana. Floss? As also the only character, at least up to this point, mm-hmm. with the same name as their real name. Oh, cool. Chris and Chris. Oh, very like office-esque. Don't, don't believe she's named Chris in this episode. We don't know that yet. And since you've not watched any of these future episodes, you yes, wouldn't know this. We've but... broken that wall. Oh, we broke it? Okay. All right. Well, that's, uh, it's not a wall, really, though, because it's it's audio. So broke the ceiling? Yeah. I broke the ceiling. We of also this. we also get Bob's first showing. Oh, Bob. Ian McFadian with over 50 years active as an actor. Really? 50 years. Got Going some work, Emily. Early 70s. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep up. All right, so let's let's bring it down to this, and if it's worth it or not to you. Um, I mean, do you want to try to facey time those grannies in our lives and see if they can floss? Facey time the grannies in our lives and see if they can floss. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that that sounds like a great idea. Perfect. I can I can see your mom. <laughs> She'll your answer, mom. but she's gonna answer <laughs> thinking it's Finn. <laughs> exactly, and she doesn't <laughs> listen to my to the best of my knowledge. My mom is probably listening on this live, and I was like, "Oh God, I hope they're joking." Oh no! 
Oh, I don't think I actually have Mama's <laughs> number. You don't have your mom's number? No, Mama Dawn. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes me feel better to know I, that you don't. Do- I, I had to make the executive decision when I was working at my old job because I would leave my phone sitting up and it would show the name of the contact it was calling. And I had her name in my phone as Mommy for the longest time. <laughs> my mom or your no, mom? No, mine. Okay, jeez. <laughs> This is getting, this is getting too okay. much, sir. <laughs> we'll, we'll, oh my! We'll, we'll circle back to that one in a future moment. I guess. We will circle back. Oh, ay ay ay! We're gonna we're gonna test the world and see if we can floss. That's what's about to happen. I can sense it. Familial, friendial. Is friendial a word? Oh, what's happening? I've changed my mind. Yes. Let's see what happens. Is this Casey timing? We're starting. Let's see what happens. Hello. Hi, uh, this is Greg Painter from the Two Bandits Watching Bluey podcast. You are live on mic. Uh, can you state your name and relation to me for the audience? Um, my name is Dawn. Hi, Dawn. I'm your mother. Hi, Mom. How are you? You would also consider yourself a granny, correct? Oh, definitely a granny, yes. Okay. So I'm not going to put you too hard on the spot right now. Mike wanted to see if you wanted to do FaceTime and actually do this, but we have to ask for this episode we're recording. Can grannies floss? Oh, definitely. Grannies can floss with the best of them. Okay. I, I know that you've just learned how to Twitter. If you feel like it, <laughs> if you want to post and add us at Watching Bluey on Twitter, a video of you flossing, you can see if uh, Dad wants to get in on that, too. Uh, feel free to pop that right on your Twitter timeline. We'd appreciate it. Put that right on the top of my list of things to do. Okay. Wow. I will hold my breath. See, she's got a weekend day of doing stuff. All right. Thank you for listening. Rate, review, subscribe. Love you. Bye. Bye, Dawn. All right, your turn. Oh, done. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> Shout out, Mama Dawn. Let's see if Miss Shirley. Oh, you're just sure. See, I'm the nice. Mom, I'm the nice one. I chose not to FaceTime. Because I can't see it anyway. <clears throat> oh, don't do me She's dirty. She's not going to answer you. Don't do me dirty. It's 11.30 on a Sunday. You don't... Oh. Oh. That was an email. Wow. (laughs) Mama Don won. Mama Cheryl zero. Oh. (laughs) Hi, Mom. It's your son. I'm just calling to say I love you. Have a good day. Talk to you soon. And can Granny's floss? Smooches. She's going to call back mid episode, but that's going to happen. That's fine. (laughs) I'm proud of us. We did a thing. Oh, thank, well, shout out to the grannies that answer their phones. <laughs> their phone Woo! Oh, well, I mean, it's a busy time here. It's a Sunday, eleven thirty in the morning. We'll see what happens. We've got we've got a little bit of episode left. We could get a we got some time left. Yeah, surely watch twenty twenty two. Before we keep going, now that we've had those very important questions answered, <sighs> we love the backgrounds in this show. Yep, love the pictures on that fridge. We got yep. Bluey on a bike. Yep. So again. Canonically, we know this call happened after the bike episode <laughs> Cause she because can, she can she's ride a rolling. bike. Rolling, she's rolling. We got socks and a little blanket, being like little, a little I have snuggly baby socks. baby socks. That's cute, man. I think that's that one literally is notated. We got another. We got Bluey having a, enjoying a popsicle. We got Muffin with a tennis ball, just posing with a tennis ball. <laughs> and then, not? and then another fun little uh, one. We've got Bingo next to a picture of a long dog. Oh, is that where the long dog's yeah. hiding? Yeah, that's cute. Right on the fridge. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this episode's called Grampies. <clears throat> oh. Go for Mike Martin. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Hello, are you there? I'm here. Are you there? Yes. Mike Martin Sr. Why Why do you return the call when I call, when I'm trying to call Granny? Because mom was in the shower. Oh, that's an awkward sound. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think this is the point where you're supposed to tell him he's live on a podcast. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're recording right now. I just had a question for mom. Ask him. See if he knows. I can. I mean, yeah, we can pass it on. Or if he knows too. Yes. Are you ready, there, grandfather? What a what a what a what a what? What? Ready? Okay. Yes. Can, can grannies floss? Can grannies what? Floss. <laughs> floss. Yeah. Can she floss? Yeah. Hey, hey uh, Mike Senior. How's it going, Greg Painter, friend of your son's? Uh, do you know what flossing is? Flossing? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes and yes. Okay. Double dipping. He's like standing at the bathroom door. Like, <laughs> Why? What is that about? That's a very important question. It's okay. 
I floss every day. My dude. There we go. That's all we needed to know. <laughs> Holy sugar. <laughs> Keep it a PG. You guys have far too much time on your hands. Love you more. I'll talk to you later there, young man. Adios. <laughs> Popsicle. <laughs> oh, and you know she's going to come back at some point in time. Whatever. Great. We got this. One take. I was about to say, easy edit podcast. You already said it yourself. So, so that kitchen. Also, I realized, I mean, it makes me, I don't know if it's a compliment or not because of how much the kids mock Nana. But their kitchen setup is the exact same kitchen setup as mine. Oh, how about that? The sink's right there. The fridge is right next door to it. They have a stand mixer right there. They have their utensils, and they have the oven right next to that. I'm like, oh. they have You have that oceanfront kind I, of view we, yeah, um, uh, on your beautiful terrace, too. When I'm sure you might ask me to do Dude. some sort of video at some point in time of me busting out a sweet floss. I'll do it in front of my you know lake view glass ch- fenced home we we talk can... about so here's we gonna get off a tangent i'm i'm off notes right mod now. oh i'm off notes greg in the wild folks what do the healers do man we've There's... got stripes rolling the dough is there a pg term for blood the, like... the, <laughs> the 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 healers prime pretty solid setup they got they've got a house with five thousand rooms in it that's pretty good and we got nan and bob in the most beautiful retirement villa Looking over the ocean. We need, uh, I don't, I don't know if there's like prequel Giant season just episode we need of just like this episode is called Lottery Ticket. <laughs> something <laughs> like, are they the dog version of the family from Successions or something? Because uh, they've got it made in the shade or in the sun because they have, they have that too. Oh, jelly. But just like we asked our nanas and very confused grampies, <laughs> granddads. Very good. Your I, poor dad. I don't know. I feel like he, he felt like he was under the he was under the <laughs> microscope there, and he's like, "Yes, and yes." Obviously, I know <laughs> what that is. Why would I not know what flossing is? Can you floss? And very similar to your dad's, so I floss every day. <laughs> <laughs> but Bingo demonstrates with the e- uh, e- again. E- I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but like the music that happens when they floss is that is the flossing music. That's the only time that Granny's theme is played. Is when the flossing happens. Like, nee, 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 nee. Oh. That's the only time they actually play that. Outside of that, they have whimsical, fun music of TV station. You know, I keep calling it a bodega. They they went to the the retail shop. They went to the I don't know if they went to the Seven Eleven, but they went to the Big M or something. I feel like it was Costco, a, yeah, Kmart. They went, to, they went to the Kmart. Kmart's are big in Australia, dude. Really? Yeah, <laughs> real life. All the cameras around here have clothes. Exactly. It's, hmm. a, it's a darn shame. It's a darn shame. And it's also a darn shame that Nana and Bob can't floss. They can't. They try. They hey, fail Bob hard. can do what he thinks is floss. <laughs> Bob has some moves. Bob is there to just, ooh, yeah. Bob Great. had a beverage with morning breakfast. Great Nana line slash Mike Senior line coming up here. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do the flossing. Uh, I think he could if he tried. Heartbreak. Yeah. Heartbreak. That little like bingo, it just stinks walks me. away. It's it's just Nana having a conversation. She's just like, yeah, can, like like Finn was standing right next to me, and he's like, Dad, can Grandpa floss? And I'm like, let's call him and find out. And he says, No, we can't. And he's like, oh, you know, just walk away. Sad. Like she doesn't realize she's she is. She the, just broke bingo. <laughs> the hammer. That's just, because because Bluey's so proud too. Yeah, a little Which bit is, of gloating. Uh, oos. It, it, oh, the oos is so good, man. I love that. I try I, I try too hard sometimes to use that in my daily vernacular, and I don't want to force myself to do that when it comes to things. Like, the gotta be done is easy. All biscuits is literally an intrinsic thing. Oos is pretty easy to pop into. In yeah, my oh, I know. Too. You just have to make that decision you're doing it, though. I want it to be like, I just, I just said that. Oh, even better. I just struggle with the oos sometimes because it makes me think of the usos oos. a little bit. Oh. <laughs> No problem, Oos. <laughs> Bluey wants to keep playing. Bingo's like, no, done. Mm-hmm. I just quit just because I was right. Mm. Mm. And the music again, it, that is the granny music. And it's sad granny so music. Oh, stinking <laughs> relatable. Uh, oh, I've got uh, a little girl who loves being right. And a little girl who does not like being wrong. And often they take those two roles and then playtime ends. And that's not fair. Just do it my way, because I was right. <laughs> oh, mm. That's the one thing I don't I don't have experience with with the single child ex- in the world. So I can I can say I, I I relate to it through watching episodes of this and also the look in your eye that you had when you said, <laughs> "Oh my gosh, I felt that." 
because as he felt that if it happened yesterday i watched my kid in the water table playing in the backyard and he was super excited and then he just kind of looked off in the distance and he picked up picked up a giant cup of water and just poured it over <laughs> his head <laughs> I was color commentating it for Carrie. I'm like, oh, he's having so much fun because we just refilled the water too. And now he's got to come. And now his whole head is covered. Take that, Finn, from Finn. <laughs> well, he came in the house too. And he was like, mommy, mommy, I was brave. <laughs> what is he? She's like, most times during path time, when we shampoo his hair, we're like, all right, we're going to be brave uh, now. So he was actually showing off his. I, I imagine um, you, when you were taking your shower, you're like, all right, time to wash the hair. <laughs> time to get brave. Time to be brave, Mike. <laughs> You got this. Oh. Anyway, let's. That's let's the pivot. second reference to showers in one episode. Let's, let's pivot off talking about your showering in the episode when we call our parents uh, <laughs> and start talking about doing the wash. Yes. Who did it last? And who's distinctly wrong? Oh, gosh. Have we had. I mean, is it just canon that Chili's doing the wash? Because it always seems like Band ends up doing the wash. Not saying any sort of general situation. It's just. He see and maybe it's because when he's doing the wash, something bad happens to bandits. Well, we know he has to do it enough that there's a instruction list on how to do the wash oh, that oh, that's right. truly likely made for him. Well, yeah, maybe it's a, a practice makes perfect thing. Or she's like, it's like riding a bike until you actually finish a full load of laundry. You gotta play the game again. Mm. So I think this is a little bit. We might be might be digging a little deep on this one. Okay. But when they have that little conversation, you're distinctly wrong. I didn't know you did it. We get Bluey to show up. Yep. Ask yourself a question. Okay. Do you want to be right or keep having Bingo play with you? I almost think that's Chili also talking to Bandit. Want to be right about this wash? Oh. Or do you want us to have a good family day or not? Man. And then who's doing the wash? Little that's Chili Jedi mind trick to get uh, Bluey to geez. do the right thing. This one also gives me uh, some feels of um, like with Spy Game. When Bandit's having this big, deep conversation with Bluey, and we're we're rocks, and we're dogs, and that's how we do it. That makes sense? No. Chili right, gives us right. nice, this nugget of information, and that's how you do it. And like, well, can't I just have both? No. All right, just try your best. Go. <laughs> just, we're trying to get chores done, kids. Please, oh. let us be just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. So, how do we both be right? Okay. And keep playing? Mm-hmm. It's time. Oh. It's time to call Nana back. Oh. And it's education time. Should I do the same thing for my father? <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, we finished recording. We can talk about. <laughs> I would bet a million dollars okay. that if you, without any pretext, okay. called your father and tried to walk him through floss dancing, he would either hang up on you or say more words that we have to bleep out in the podcast. Probably, yeah. Okay. 100%. We'll save our, we'll save our viewers' ears. 100 from... <laughs> Save our viewers of this audio <laughs> Dang podcast. It. We call back Nana. Let me get my glasses. I, 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 the first time I saw it, I was I was thinking, man, how did she get to get away with you know popping up the iPad and have the have the glasses not on? She's probably got a twelve point nine inch or doggy oh, pad. Have, with the money they have, I'm sure it's the finest that money can buy. Brightness turned up, like yeah. We get Bob joining in. Mm -hmm. Quick learners, they get it. Very quick learners took like ten seconds and they got it. We cut back to Bingo, upside down, sad. Oh my god! Playing gosh. with one of those little ballet because we have those at our house too. The fall down I think, toy. Or whatever yeah, I think ours is. is of Coco. Sure. Or, um, I don't know the main character's name from the Coco movie, the kid from the Coco movie. Mm -hmm. We've got one of those little things that That's sad enough like as it addictive. is. Why are you gonna have that toy that <laughs> does that? Oh, that movie got me in the gut, man. Not to completely go down a side path, but remember me. Oh, don't. Oh, but oh. Then, yeah. We get that. We get the facey time upside down. Bingo the, view, I, which is kind of cool. I I'm not going to lie. It is a, I know they over-exaggerate her in that situation because it's, <laughs> she was flossing, having a great time. She, she said, you know what? I'm going to play grannies and have a good time and still flossed in there and was having fun. And apparently those two things, if you can't do it, there's no other way to have fun in this moment. That's yeah. it. Mm. That's, that's the mind of a four-year-old, my dude. <laughs> Game That's over. how it works. Fine. And again, we already mentioned it once, but I feel like when you're flossing and you're flossing with a background like that, you double win. Mm -hmm. That's just they're flaunting their stacks on stacks. <sighs> that's oh. that's gonna be the view from the the OBX house. Just saying, us flossing, us flossing <laughs> oh. with the background. 
<laughs> Guys and gals, it's gonna be, everybody, it's going to be... We don't need uh, to give it a timestamp of when we are going to be the Outer Banks like we did last I don't time. know what you're talking about. It's going but to be within the next six good. years. We'll be experiencing some somewhere that's possibly in the state, not in the state with an ocean view. <laughs> Grannies can floss. Bingo is happy. See? Let's play more grannies. Mm, mm. This is where they get into it. And here we go. Well, they get into a lot of things here. Because we got Bandit doing the laundry while the grannies drive to the shops. He's singing his song, too. He's so excited. He's going to get the laundry done one day. We we have a vehicular manslaughter on their way to, uh, Mm -hmm. even before Bandit, Mm -hmm. running over. What choice was it? They ran over a toy. They ran over the tea party that was going on Yes, with a bear. Yes. And the teapot still stood tall in the end. For some reason, that thing just said, nah, I'm here. And then there's a garden gnome that just goes flying when it does the the front view. Jeremy! (laughs) Gets pegged! Lovely day for a drive. How fast can those little cars go? Can they really go that fast? Finn, I don't think, I think he might have had one when he was, like, not able to walk yet kind of thing. We we had one too, and it was very much a, it's moving by being pushed, because they don't go in the grass very well. In Australian grass, though, it must be different. Is it like turf? Probably. (laughs) Well, Nana does that, probably, so... I don't want to mow the grass. I just want forever grass. Boom. How much does that cost? Don't worry about it. Click. Gonna put these wet clothes out in the line. My dude. My dude. Gonna put these clean clothes away. Oh. Oh. I told you. uh, Cannon. Cannon. He does that every single time he does the wash. I know. He's he's done it in the past. The the, the, the butterflies Butterflies. episode. Yep. He does it. And well, bam. Like, uh. This. Just buy a dryer. (laughs) I thought, don't they have one? Uh, I, in the Because we have the, at least the washing machine in the basement. Probably because of heat, maybe? Maybe it gets too hot with the, the dryer going? Well, again, it's like 90 and beautiful right? in Australia. So you got to think, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to have the dryer going if it's blisteringly hot and uh, just go outside. And it's nice outside because it's always gorgeous there. Hmm. He gets wrecked so hard. <laughs> We need to have like car. a top tier of bandit beefing at moments because he gets walloped. Did you hear something, Rita? Oh, those girls. And it's, it's, oh, they're, they're great characters that they introduce, but when they're both really into it, gosh, that's. But again, the patience of the saint from the parents here. Got, Turn me back. Oh, got Chili there comforting he's him. down. He's, we, <laughs> we crash into the sandbox. He says it in just realization. Nice parking spot, Rita. Another classic line. Mm. I've got, and this is this is on me, but it's also because of the Syracuse weather. For the holiday season, my wifey, Carrie, did purchase me a bumper sticker of the two grannies. And it Aww. says, nice parking spot, Rita. And it's sitting right up there. And I need to put it on my vehicle. Oh, Just to, now that I'm, you know, I'm dropping Finn. I'm picking him up at school. I want to have, like, some kid look out the window one day and be like, yeah. And I give, like, a fist bump. And we give air knuckles in the air. Because that's what you do when you And then you tell them to rate, review, and subscribe. Of and course, to yep, the that would be nice of them. To sure. The four-year-old chat. No, maybe oh, not. Oh, we need, like, some sort of, like, marketing that we throw at cars. Like, well, we have magnets. We do have magnets. I probably would not end up in good graces with other parents if I'm slinging <laughs> stickers. <laughs> Here, kids, have these stickers. <laughs> Putting magnets on every car as I'm dropping fish. Tell them Uncle Mike sent you. <laughs> oh, where'd this one star review come from? Bearded jerk <laughs> dropping kid off. Stuck this on my car. Oh, no. <laughs> Episode okay. starts amazing. Mm. Love this end line. I hope we still floss at their age. You know what? I think we will. I think you're right. Yeah. Just again, just one of those nice. They love each other so much, oh, yeah. and they're such a good little happy married couple. Maybe, and even though he'd done his back, she's there for him. They got this. Was was it? Was that the grand finale of the Saturday chores? You think too? That's why she's so it is somewhat now, okay with it. He's gonna transfer himself from the ground to the couch, watch some cricket. He's uh, have a beverage after he puts the, the clothes re- back and relax. The, the washer, dang it, they got dirtied again. Well, no, their their grass is probably clean too. Everything's exactly. as, immaculate in that home. We again, as confirmed by Justin from Bluey's Brisbane, everything is perfect and magical in Brisbane, <laughs> which is the rudest thing anybody's ever told me, ever. <sighs> Not what that is magical, is it? Yeah, actually, it is. It's, Great, it's, cool, thanks. It's snowing here. Take what they do, and they just—they don't show enough. <laughs> mm. 
Such a good episode, my dude. So fun. Yeah. So many different things. And it's it's great Which, on an episode like this just because we could sit here and talk about it. And thankfully, we have wonderful people like, you know, Mama Dawn and Mike Martin Sr. that just chose to be him on the call. Love you, Dad. Um, love you, Dawn, too. Um, what the heck was it? Oh, <laughs> it's an episode everybody loves. Anyway, like, they, they, they're... They know what they're getting into when they click play on this episode for the 50th time or even listening to us talk about it. They're like, oh, this is going to be a cake one to talk about because it's just you get to hear Greg's voice saying he slipped on his beans. Can't wait. Can't wait. (laughs) I can't wait. Also, Uh after we're done recording here, after ask each other, we ask each other Uh three important questions and we give some amazing plugs. Yep. Going to challenge you Uh to band up at number two. Live? We're going to floss. Okay. What's, what's 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 the bet portion of it? We're gonna floss. We're gonna post it online. Okay. At watching Bluey. Donzo. Get a nice little voting option. <sighs> Who flossed it better? Who flossed it better? <sighs> okay. But what are the stakes? There's always stakes. <sighs> I like steak. How do you get your steak? Uh, medium. Yeah, I like a little it. Montreal seasoning on it. Hmm. It's very good. Um, I don't know what the stakes should be. It's it, the weather's too nice now, so the the area that, that is known as Syracuse, New York, is not. I think you delayed on doing this because you wanted to bypass the, the trauma of having to walk through snow in any fashion. Listen, we fine. are in upstate New York. That's There's fine. a very good chance that we will still have some sort of snow hmm. at some point. Somewhere. I didn't prep flossing, and I know you. Okay, no, come back. All right, back in. All right, uh, so. We had a nice little yeah, pause moment. We had a pause because we, we couldn't improv ourselves an idea, but Mike had an excellent one. Okay, well, this is where I'm feeling a little jilted, but that's fine. That's completely fine. God, yeah, um, <laughs> because I am under the impression now that Greg has spent his entire morning floss practicing or practice flossing or any sort of cool phrase that you could have for it. And I'm coming in a little blind, but that's fine. We'll that's see. Fine. If you didn't see this coming, you haven't been listening to the product, sir. Mm, so, but... flossing. We're going to do it right after this. Yes. We're going to post it online on Monday after the episode drops. Yes. At watching Bluey. That's Vote. Close. The winner. Mm-hmm. Gets to record the loser, mm-hmm. dressed up like a granny, doing a lap around the block. Full block walk. Full, Full block, walk. block walk. What's the most granny blanket you have? Gosh, I might have to do some. Pro- Honestly, probably the, the lovely one that the dear Miss Shirley Martin <laughs> uh, knitted for us for our wedding. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't it? Wasn't it a wedding or was it for, or was it for the kiddos? I'm hoping it was. For, I, I'm not not putting anyone on blast that there, gives knitted blankets as wedding gifts, but I'm hoping that if that was that there was, was a, not the there was a knitted stuff. there was a knitted <laughs> gift that was. <laughs> I'm hoping that it wasn't the only wedding gift that, that was part of the wedding gifts. So, <laughs> like, yo, thanks for the wedding. I appreciate the invite. The food was amazing. The dancing was great. Here's a blankie. We, we have many <laughs> lovely blankets, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna crush you in this. Oh, song. not with that. At dude. watching Bluey, check it out. <sighs> Vote. Putting my granny hood up. Look at that. Oh, you would have heard it today. You were uh, a hoodie today, I was too. ready. Oh. You see me show up wearing bluey merch to a recording. You got to know something's going down. But before we get there, hey, Mike. Yeah. What was your favorite thing today? My favorite thing was Bingo being sad with the. Whoa. Whoa, wait, hey, let me finish that. Whoa, up. just because with, you're competing against with, me doesn't mean you'd be like, my favorite thing is Bingo no. Tears. Take that, You can go with the easies and go with the one-liners and say that it was the beans or say it was the parking spot, which are phenomenal. When I rewatched it again today, that one was a genuinely somewhat newer gut laugh again, seeing it happen. Because Bingo lying upside down with the floppy toy, can't play in any other way, just, it's the end of the world. It made me laugh. So that just today, try to that be a hipster by not picking the actual two no, or three not, best moments. I mean, if, if those two had to duke it uh, out, which one's better? I like sad bingo. Okay, That's so, my favorite oh my thing today. God. Anything to ask me, bud? Yep. Hey, Greg. Yeah. What was your favorite thing today? Sit down the beans. <laughs> <laughs> just that, like, 30 it's seconds. So good. Like, when I watched and was doing my meticulous notes for this mm. and got about 45 seconds into the episode, it's like, there's more? Yeah. Because we got the bean theft, we got the hitting, we that's got the, the slip down my beans, we got the flaws. Like, holy holy crap, there's more to this? I think I, this that's is... why I picked the bingo thing. Like, I just, I wanted to pick something different. I really did Some because guy. there's You're just... a little bingo hipster, or bluey hipster. Was this Whatever. thing ever cleaned? Dude. Like, there's just so many lines that are lines so in this episode. So, so, so good. My favorite thing was this episode. Well, I've got good luck in the bracket challenges against whatever's going up against. Ooh. Grannies, that's for sure. 
<sighs> well, okay, now that we're done calling me Hipster Mike and seeing if I've been practicing flossing all month, baby. Um, Hey, Greg. Yo. Who was your favorite character? Nana. Oh, uh, there we go. So good. She's mm-hmm. so stinking funny. Yep. She's such a Nana. Needing my glasses. I don't know how to do the flossing. This is an Just introduction to Nana, right? Interesting. What's that? Nana was around in another episode. No, right? this is this is full introduction. Nana Prime. Too? Yeah. I, know. I didn't know if she was like floating around in barbecue or something like that, but no. I don't believe so. Interesting. Gotta love it, but hey, bud. Yeah. Who's yeah. your favorite character? I actually am going to give it to Miss Bingo. Ooh. I do like Bingo a lot in this one because she I mean, she does she does have her four year old moment. Absolutely but she her granny character is so good. It's so good. I mean, Bluey's is also fantastic, but and, and Bluey's a supporting cast yeah. of the main character Bingo oh, as a granny. Bingo knocks it out, and the boy pains, and just <laughs> sh- 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 to have the creativity of a four year old, but add sh- like t- you want to play grannies? Yes, putting a blanket on, boom, we're playing grannies. But she has a certain level that she adds to it too. If it was just Bluey saying the lines, and then she's just running over the blanket on her head. You're like, oh, she's playing grannies together. But this, she, she, she's adding her lines to it that makes it just that much more fun. So I give it to Miss Bingo. Beautiful. Goodness, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. How do you rank this one? Pal. You know what? You know what? With all that being the case, and my poor dude never going to be able to complete it. It could be fifty other things in this episode because of what it is. I'm going to give it one finished job of laundry being done. Ooh. Because not to do a segue for you, but the laundry's got to be done. Ooh, careful. Careful with your words. That's why I kind of whispered it. Words have power. (laughs) Oh, no. The podcaster. (laughs) (laughs) But, Greg. Yeah. On this, the 28th episode of Bluey, how do you rank it? I rate it. 33. Yeah, boy. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for listening. As always, at Watching Bluey, we got a lot that's going to be there. We have potential... Mama Don flosses. Yeah. We have potential being blocked by Mike Martin Sr. probably if yeah. he has a Twitter account. No, We've no. got floss contests, which are about to be recorded momentarily. Momentarily. Watching Bluey at Gmail. Send us your takes. Send us your thoughts. Uh, thank you to Mallory Callahan of Denton, Texas. What's up? Who shared, a, first off, sent us an awesome review. Appreciate that. But also shared a great picture that she made of her, or with, or excuse me, a great picture of her with her child, uh, where they made some really cool bean can art. Uh, so that was really cool. Thank you for sharing. We love when folks reach out. So appreciate you. Woo! Also appreciate. Uh, speaking of rating, reviewing, and such, uh, do Johnso and Mira eight two nine for the two lovely five star, five star, five star Aww. reviews this week. People actually listen to us. Pa- Thanks. Patreon. Call me crazy, Mike, but we have a link, right? That will be uh, shareable by yes. Monday? I will say so. Yeah. Yeah. that I love that confidence. <laughs> <laughs> so check out the Twitter for the link possibly embedded in the notes of this episode. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you got it. We got this. It's not. It might not look like super complete just yet because we're going to be starting the the first one or two episodes that we're going to be posting are going to be fresh off of our noggin before we start getting suggestions and we requests. got this. It'll be great. But I've got a thousand more plugs, so give me a minute. Oh gosh, here we go. One more reminder: the cool Instagram grainy glasses filter from at Mister R Man <laughs> One. If you guys haven't checked this out, if you're a Wordle fan, they actually have a Bloodle. Out there, I, a listener of the podcast actually is one a gentleman who made this, which is pretty cool. So check that out. Just type in Bloodle, like like Wordle except blue. Cool. And or you can just check out our uh, page at Watching Bluey on there. So a listener of the That's, show made this. He said there's like a couple thousand folks a day playing it, which is awesome. Rock out. So get, get in on the game. It goes between four and six letter words, all Bluey related, and you can submit options. As well. Mm. All that stuff's exciting, but one last and most important plug. Uh oh. Is it is it I was gonna say a grandmother's shop. Is it a baked beans store? <laughs> baked beans store? Baked beans. Baked beans. Baked beans. The village yeah. Cuparo retirement home for the Janet and Rita in your life. <laughs> the village Cuparo boasts a wealth of facilities to keep your bodies and minds active. After all, it's widely acknowledged that these are the keys to enjoying life, staying healthy, and living longer. Wow. Check out the village Kuporo in Brisbane, Australia. Look at that. That's the website. I I didn't write that part down. I had a whole lot of words about it, so I figured that was good. Dot AU. <laughs> Thank you. Oh and gosh. Time to school might get flossing, but oh, until next week, it's on. 
Gotta be done. After you vote for me, gotta be done.